Hi, Bradley. It's your Aunt Sarah. I heard that this week that you are going to come and visit a hospital and I am a nurse at a hospital. So I wanted to show you more about what it is like to be in the hospital. Are you ready? Well, the first thing I'm going to show you is a hospital room right here. This is a hospital bed. It's similar to a normal bed, except it has these buttons to help the bed go up and down. So when you're in the hospital, you'll stay in a hospital bed like this. This is a hospital bed. Now in a hospital room, there's usually a TV. You're staying in a hospital that's a little newer than mine, so you might have a little bit of a different TV, but there should be a TV in the room. And then there'll be a chair for mom and this little couch that can pull out into a bed so you can have someone sleep with you when you're in the hospital. Some other things I wanna show you in your room is that you'll have some, a sink with some hand sanitizer or some soap and everyone that walks in your room is always gonna wash their hands to keep the germs away. Over here, we keep gloves. We have different size gloves. I'll show you. We have small gloves, large gloves, and medium gloves. Sometimes it's fun to make a balloon out of the gloves and wave it around like this. So you can do that if you wanna have some fun. Now, something else I wanna show you is an IV pole. So when you come to the hospital, they wanna make sure that you have enough fluids. So what we do is we give you IV fluids on a pole that looks just like this. Do you see the IV pole? Can you say IV pole? IV pull. So what we do is we take these little tubes. We have a bag here that has fluids in it, IV fluids, and they go through this machine, and then they're gonna go into what we call an IV. So Bradley, when you're in the hospital, they're gonna put an IV in you, and I'm gonna show you a little bit about that. So when they do an IV, we take this little tubey and a sticker and it's gonna go in your arm. Now it can be scary when we put the IV in, but that's okay, because we're here to help you and we'll make it less scary. It's just scary because you don't know, so I wanna show you. So these are the tubes. So the tubes will go into a vein in your arm like this. So it will put an IV in like this, and then we put a sticker just like this on top. I'll show you. So here's the tube and the sticker. And you just, they're gonna put it in your arm like this and they'll hold your hand while they do it and then they put the sticker on top. So then you'll have an IV that looks like this. That's an IV. Can you say IV? IV. So we use our IV to give you fluids. And one way we do that is through a flush. So you'll see your nurses, and nurses you're always gonna see have an RN on their badge. That means they're a nurse. And nurses at your hospital will always wear scrub pants that are this color, blue, very fashionable. We wear blue pants. That's how you know we're a nurse, the blue pants and the RN. So what we do, the nurses, is we put an IV in your arm and then we come in with flushes. So the flush is going to go into the IV to make sure it works. So what we do, is we clean with these little wipes for 15 seconds, and then we let it dry for 15 seconds. So we'll come in and they clean like this. They clean for your IV for how many seconds? 15 seconds. So we'll clean for 15 seconds, and then we let it dry for 15 seconds. And we do that to get rid of all of the germs. Then we attach the flesh. Now the flesh is just water. See, just like this, just water. Sometimes you can make it into a squirt gun like this. Oh, don't tell. So this is a flush. So you can attach your flush like this to your IV and the nurse will do this for you, but sometimes you can help if you ask. And then they'll push in just like this and they flush your IV. And that's how we're gonna give you fluids. So we flush like that and then we can hook it up to an IV pole like we talked about here. This big machine, it's like a big robot. So what they can do is they take these tubes and they attach it to your IV here, like this. 
And then when you're sleeping in the hospital, you'll be hooked up with your IV pole and your IV fluids to this machine here, your IV pole. Okay, can you say IV pole? IV pole. The nurse will come in whenever the IV pole beeps. It beeps like this. Do you hear the beeping? That means the nurse will come in and help with the beeping because we don't want it to beep. If it beeps too much or you get nervous, you can always call your nurse. You'll have a button in your room and I'll show you your button. Right here. <laughs> this is gonna be your nurse button. So you can push this button right here and your nurse will come and help you. So this is a hospital room. Yours will be very similar when you come and stay in the hospital. And you're gonna have great nurses who are gonna be there to help you. You're also gonna see doctors who will come in and listen to your heart using a stethoscope. And I'll have to show you a stethoscope a little bit later, but they're very cool. Now, when you're in the hospital, all your nurses and doctors are always gonna wear a mask like this. Whenever they touch your IV, they're gonna wear gloves like this. And sometimes you'll see us in blue gowns. And I'll have to show you the blue gowns in a minute because those are pretty cool. Now I forgot to show you the hospital bathroom. Yours might look a little different, but it's mostly the same. So this is what a hospital bathroom looks like. It's not too exciting. It's as similar as your bathroom at home. It has a sink here, a potty, and a shower. So it's not that different from home. It's just a sleepover room. All right, Bradley, you're gonna have a great time in the hospital, okay? Every few hours, the nurse will come in and take your temperature using a thermometer that's big like this, which is more fancy than the one you have at home. We'll also take your blood pressure, and I'll show you that in a minute too.